Hello plant people, Nora here, also known as the Lekker Queen on Instagram. Thank you very much for joining me on my channel today where we talk about all things indoor plants from semi-hydroponics to moss poles. Today we are going to talk about my Philodendron Mame. Look at that pretty thing. She's really, really gorgeous. When I got her, I actually got her pretty cheap. It was an ugly leaf discount. It had one small leaf and it was like really, really ugly. But look at how this ugly duckling is now the most gorgeous thing. Now, as you know, mummies are not climbers, they're crawlers. So you can see that my mummy is really wanting to crawl. She's wanting to extend beyond this pot and I need to put her in a new pot and I need to put her in a pot that's going to enable her to crawl. So, her living in semi-hydroponics makes it a little bit more difficult. I had to be a bit more creative with what I do. So I found this clear pot because it's really important to me that the pot has to be clear because I need to see what's going on with my roots. So I found a clear pot. It's got no holes at the bottom, which works fine because I'm going to try and use a different method with my mate this time. I am going to have the reservoir sitting inside this pot and I will then put this pot inside this planter and this planter is only a to make it look pretty so you know it'll be white and that's the way it'll sit it'll be pretty but also what this planter does is protect the lecker and the nutrients from the light and in that way ensuring that algae does not grow in my semi-hydro setup so it's really a clear pot thing check um algae protection check now i need to have this pot have ventilation because i cannot put my mammae in this i need my plants my pots to have ventilation so i am going to make holes in this pot and my trusty trusty soldering iron will do the job for me and of course the most important thing is safety so i've got my gloves here i've got all my kids away i don't have any pets so that's not an issue i've got my windows open to provide ventilation and away i go making my holes so as you can see i've got this yellow tape around the pot that I put on earlier and that's just to help guide the, the lowest level so I don't want it to be too low because remember I'm going to have the nutrient solution living in here so it needs to be able to actually stay in the pot and not drain out because of the holes that I'm going to make so I will show you how I do that in a sec. So I've got my very hot soldering iron here and I will start from there it's really really hot so that'll work really well and there I go so I'm going to make holes all over this pot So I have now made holes all the four sides of my planter. Peel the tape off. So, and I have holes all the sides of my pot and I will now put my plant in there. So what do I need for this? Of course we need my plant and I've got some freshly washed sterilized lecker that's been living in GTCCS for not less than 24 hours. So, first thing to do is get this plant out of this pot. So very, very gently, always ever so gently, because you can see this plant is pretty root bound as well. So I could probably do that. 
see, and that's not even budging. So very, very gently. Ooh, there we go. Look at that gorgeous baby. That is my mummy. Very, very pretty. I will gently tease off the makeup from these roots. Very, very gently. That is all the lecker off. Look at that red root gorgeousness. I have given that plant a wash and that is now ready to go into its new home. So of course we put in a layer of lacquer. So I might put just a little bit more. So that's about a third of the pot covered in lacquer. And I've got my plant going that way. So I want to put it closer to this edge so that it's got enough space to grow. Although to be honest, I don't know how much longer I could have this pot for, but it seems to be going quite fast, but that's a problem for future me. So that is my mame sitting in its new pot. I will now fill up this reservoir so you can see what's going to happen and I will then put it in its new pot. I've got my newly potted plant and I've got a batch of GT Foliage Focus that I mixed earlier. I am now going to fill up this reservoir. So that, that right there is the kind of level that we're looking for. So those holes will make sure that my roots are not being exposed to the nutrient solution. Although in this particular case, that wouldn't be the worst thing because these are water roots that have been living in Lekka for some time. So that wouldn't be completely detrimental to the plant. But we just want to be safe and keep that reservoir away from the roots. As you can see, that's where the roots are, and that's where the reservoir is. So, yes. Put just a little bit more. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is my mummy. And that's how I repot it into a rectangular pot so it can crawl. And that will now live there. And that's it. That's my plant, it's happy, and I think we'll have some lovely new leaves going forward. Thank you so much for watching and staying with me, and I will see you next time. Bye.